my name is Keith Edward Kuntu, and I am currently a research affiliate as part of the Transcendence and Transformation Database at CSWR. And I'll be joining full time as a postdoctoral fellow in Asian religious traditions in June. We're trying to essentially create a database where people from a wide variety of fields and expertise can supply archival entries as well as encyclopedia articles on a wide variety of topics and specifically incidents in which people have some for lack of a, a better word, some encounter with what they perceive as transcendent or transformative. And that can take many forms in many different languages as well. And we're sort of categorizing these experiences based on four, four say, uh, comparative uh, themes. And so there's experiences and events, there is uh, practices, there are fruits and results, and there are kind of meta metaphysics. So the ways in which people structure reality that help them come to these, these experiences. The colleague uh, of mine who is heading it up is Matt Dillon uh, in CSWR, and then another colleague who was hired, Aaron Ulry. We've been meeting together to work out the metadata, basically how we tag these encyclopedia and archival entries, how we determine what experiences sort of fit within this database and how we expand our scope to make sure that groups, individuals, experiences are not excluded um, from, from the database based on accidents of language, right, or based on colonial biases, you know, or all of these ways of framing religion. And through that, uh, I have also been tasked to write encyclopedia and archival entries based on my own experience of a few. So I've already written a sample archival entry of Sri Sabapati Swami, this Tamil yogi who had an experience of flying to what at that time was a legendary mountain uh, associated with the god Shiva. And then an encyclopedia article that then helps contextualize that experience or event in Sabapati's life no single researcher has the master key, right, or has all of the expertise to be able to create a system in like, like this. And so what we have to do is rely on outside help and researchers from various regions who are attuned to the cultural specificities in various areas of research. And so right now we have two people, uh, Aaron and I, who work mostly in South Asia, and Matt works on Christianity and American movements, also Gnosticism. So we have that kind of covered, but we also recognize that, okay, well, how do we, you know, understand Latin America? How do we understand Africa? How do we understand East Asia, you know, um, Europe? You know, it goes on, right? And so how do we incorporate the nuances of any given language and area? And so the next phase of this project will be then soliciting, you know, archival entries, as well as encyclopedia articles from specialists in a wide range of fields. And so we've already kind of created this master list of people to invite and are starting that whole process now for the first round. First and foremost, we want to make it a public resource, you know, for people to be able to access, uh, enable, you know, in order to combat so much of the misinformation that people encounter if they're searching, you know, of some you know, this or that weird or strange phenomenon or something they watch on TV or something that they hear from a friend. Oh, did you hear about this? Or in conversation over a drink or, you know, uh, you know, they go and search these things, right? People want to know more. And the database can be a resource in that way by which people can learn more, you know, from anywhere in the world. And so that's kind of the, the public aspect of it, but also have it be a resource for scholars. You know, there's a Bengali proverb, Shekar Shesh Nei, which is learning is never finished. And that's really an important proverb uh, to me. I, I, feel it, I feel it constantly that, you know, one can never really finish learning.